Hey folks, Jordi here for Cinecam.net and welcome back to Creative Wednesday. And I've got something very exciting today. An AI tool that allows you to create your own music and it's super easy. And that tool is called SoundDraw. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now first we're gonna check out how to work with SoundDraw and after that I'm gonna share a couple of really cool tips and how you can edit normal songs as well in Premiere Pro because SoundDraw is a paid service if you want to download the songs that you create. Free users can also create so you can just follow along but you just can't download. However, they are currently offering a seven day free trial. So that is why I have some very good tips on the end that everyone can use as well. Now to follow along with SoundTraw, click the first link in the description down below or just head straight to SoundTraw.io. Now you can choose to generate and edit songs from their website or what I prefer to do is install their plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro, which basically gives you the same interface but right inside Premiere. Now what I've got right here is a very short edit that I quickly put together with some shots from my trip to Iceland. Now I've purposely not added sound design to it as I want to try to take the most out of the music and let it carry the visuals. Of course that doesn't mean that you should not do sound design. Sound design is important guys but I want to demonstrate something today. Alright once we've got the sound draw extension installed you can open it up in Premiere Pro from the menu window extensions sound draw. There are three tabs on top and we're going to start with create music. The first step is to generate a song so that we can have a basis to start off. You've got a few options to select the theme, the mood the song has to be, the length and a bunch of other details like which instruments you like to have, the genre, etc. So make your selection and then just hit create music and this will generate about 15 songs from your selection. You can go through these and see if there's anything that you'd like. If there isn't we can go back to create and generate a new set of songs. Now the idea is that you find a melody that you like. It doesn't have to be perfect because we can edit any generated song and that's also what you should do as it allows you to create a song that goes perfectly together with your edits. So in the composition tab we can edit our chosen song. We can find a couple of tracks for the different instruments and we can choose to turn them off or choose how prominent they need to be by simply clicking on these fields. The fix button on the bottom is a transition from one bar to the other. You have different options or you can also choose for a hard cut by turning them off. Finally from the top we have some more options to change the key or the pitch. We can choose a different type of instrument per track. We can even go ahead and change the volume of each instrument allowing you to create a custom mix. And finally is the length of the song. We can make it fit with the length of our edits. So that is in a nutshell how SoundTraw works. Super powerful as you can see. Now let's create a song that goes together with my b-roll edit. After you've created a song you can save it by clicking on the keep button. Later you can find it back under the music list keep tab. And this here is a song that I've previously saved so I'm going to click on edit music. First of all I'm going to change the length so that it sits around 30 seconds just like my edit. Now the current bars are 9 seconds that's too long. I want to make that shorter so I'll increase the bpm making the song also go faster and that gives me 8 seconds for each bar and I can adapt my edit to that. I'm going to create a marker in my timeline for each 8 seconds. Now between each marker I can make changes to the music. So when I want a faster paced edit somewhere I make sure that it sits between two markers. So I'm going to adapt my edit a little bit and once done we're going to go back to sound draw and edit the song. The beginning is an introduction so I'm not going to enable each instrument. Then the next bar comes which builds it up even more. I have my fast paced edit here in the middle so right here we could enable all instruments as we go to a climax. And as you're making these changes you can also play the song in sync with the video. The music starts from where you mark in your music. If you're not using the extension but through their website you can drop your video in there and play back the song in sync with the video. Now if you already have a song that isn't made with SoundTraw you could apply the same idea to it. A repetitive melody that comes back after several seconds. You could play the song and add a marker every time you hear that melody restart. Now you can cut on any of these markers to make your song shorter or even longer by duplicating certain parts. You can also swap parts around, rearrange them and you'll notice that your song will always work. In this way you can create 
different intensities on the exact place that you want, depending on your edit. And as we've seen with Sound Draw, we can look at the length of the bars and adapt our edit to it. Now with Sound Draw, we can easily disable instruments or choose a variation which is maybe less prominent. And that's something we obviously cannot do with normal songs. However, if there is a slow motion part in your edit or something where the music has to go to the background, you can use the essential sound panel and choose dialogue as the audio type as that is going to give us more tools. And from here, we can equalize the music. For instance, select a preset outside of the room. And this will change the vibe of the song. And you can do that separate for each bar. And the same goes for adding a reverb if you like. And then finally is the dissolve transition. You can slowly introduce the next bar by making this longer, or you can make it short, or even don't have a dissolve to instantly cut to the next bar. That's going to depend on your edits. I've got this transition here where the rotation of the camera is ramping up. This is a nice visual to also ramp up the music. So I do want that transition in here. And just like we've seen with Sound Draw, we even have different choices there as well to create that ramp up in music or that transition. So that is how you can maximize the music to make it fit to your edits. Sound Draw makes that process super easy and gives you a whole lot more customization options, but normal songs can be edited too. So never limit yourself with the song that you have. You're an editor and so you should edit your music too. Now when you're done creating your song, you can click on the download button and it will automatically import that song that you've created into Premiere Pro. And of course, you can always go back to Soundtro, make changes and re-import your song. Now let's have a look at the final result with the music created using Soundtro. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that edit and as well this tutorial. Thank you so much for the support, Soundtraw, and as always, stay creative. A theme, the mute, the mute, create a song that goes perfectly good, perfectly in the middle. So surrounds, read rate, intensities on it, or choose a fire variation. Now with song, song, music has to be paneled and paneled. <laughs>